All right, you guys. So in this video, what I wanted to show you is another slight bug and, uh, and workaround uh, to it uh, in regards to Ferro Scene 2023.1 with uh, applying uh, external references uh, for control. So currently I have a project which is um, registered within itself, within the, its own cluster. So I have an inside cluster up here and I have an outside cluster down here. They obviously should be in the same space. My idea and how I approached this uh, uh, project was I had control, I had checkerboard targets on the inside scans and I had a couple of spherical targets on the outside and they were all on the same uh, coordinate system. The coordinate system is uh, driven by the import of my references. So I'm going to import my actual references. We'll hit this. Um, Right now, the references have been imported, so I can proceed. Let me just verify that they all look okay. Yeah, that's my 10,000, 5,100 coordinate system. So unit-wise, it's okay. Obviously, they're definitely not where they should be. Let's do a quick registration here. Start registration. It's a top view-based registration. I'm not going to change any of the default values here. Register and verify. Um, this will work. So you'll notice that everything's now where it should be. If we look at it from a 3D perspective, you see we don't have that crazy uh, change in elevation of our actual data. Uh, looks okay, but you'll go into the report and you'll see blank. And this is what is frustrating, it's a bug, but I'll show you how to fix it. So I'll say, yep, finish. We don't get a report. Uh, we don't understand how good these were. If you kind of locate your point number 101, you can see that it's dead in the center of the sphere. If we find any of the checkerboard targets, which were inside, they also look okay. Uh, hold on, it's in the wrong position. There we go. Uh, it's okay. If we fly through, you can see that the, the inside is actually really matching outside. So I'm very happy with this. I just don't have any numbers uh, to report with this thing. So. What you do is you save. Uh, do you want to close? I'm closing the project, but in the process of saving. So do you want to save changes now? I'll say yes. I say registered without uh, statistics. Save it. And once again, for this workflow to generate those numbers, what you'll need is you will actually need a version of a scene that is uh, prior to 2023.1. So I'm firing up 2023.0.1 and opening up the same project here. So I'm opening up this project that we just saved, meaning when I go into my scan manager, it will not have any values to it yet it has uh, references that have been mapped properly. So what I'll do is, you know where I'm going with this. I'm just going to rerun the registration here. Are you sure you want to rerun it? We'll say yes, target based, okay, register and verify. And we get numbers, which means when I hit finish, and we go back into explore, everything still looks the same. In my scan manager, I actually get some tensions and they're true tensions. So if I locate 101 again, it's here. And if I locate, I don't know, 10202 like I did before, we'll be looking at it again. So uh, this populates the numbers in uh, the actual report, meaning if I now save it, uh, generated report statistics, statistics, Save it, and now if you if you must, uh, because again, there's a really good reason to use 2023.1 because it has much more powerful registration techniques for target less registration for sure, but it has these um, weird quirks so far, which I'm sure will be addressed in the future. But I just opened up 2023.1.0. When you open it up now, and you go into your explore, even into your registration report here, you'll see that your report will now have values to it. So it's not a blank report like we had before, but it has the numbers that were inherited by the uh, version, the prior version, and having saved the same project in it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.